Writing a Nonfiction Report Book. I can teach others about a topic I know a lot about by writing a report. Today we'll focus on the essential question, how do report authors use words and text features to teach? Reports in nonfiction books can look a lot of different ways, but one important feature that they often have are pictures and diagrams. Sometimes these pictures might have labels or captions underneath. Why do you think authors might want to use pictures in their writing? Pictures and diagrams can help teach more about what the words are saying. People learn a lot of different ways, by reading, by listening, by looking, and by seeing and they can see what's in the picture to help them learn about what you've written. Let's look at some nonfiction books and see how those authors used pictures, labels, and captions. This book is about a freshwater pond. This page talks about bugs flying around the pond and the picture is about bugs. It's related to the text. This picture shows algae in a pond. This page says algae often covers the pond. Without seeing a picture, we might not have really understood what it means for algae to cover the pond. This book is all about Martin Luther King Jr. This section is called Growing Up. Here you can see a picture of the home that he grew up in. This picture relates to the words in this section. Underneath is a label. This label says the boyhood home of Martin Luther King Jr. Labels tell us what things are. This is a picture of Martin Luther King Jr.'s father. Underneath it is a caption. A caption is a sentence that goes with a picture. ML's father was a minister at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta, Georgia. On this page, you can see another picture with labels. This picture is all about ML's family or Martin Luther King Jr.'s family. This is his sister, his brother, his mother, his father, his grandmother, and him. The labels tell us what is happening in the picture, or in this case, who is in the picture. In this book all about weird sea creatures, this section teaches us about deadly dangers. This label tells us that this picture is showing a yellow sea anemone. This label tells us that this picture is showing box jellyfish. These are all examples of dangerous sea creatures. This picture also has another label pointing to the tentacles. It tells us what a part of the picture is showing. Same with this picture. This label tells us that these are fins with venom. Let's look in our nonfiction book and see if we can add some pictures with labels. When you're adding pictures in an ebook using Book Creator, there are a few different ways to add. Today I'm going to show you how to add pictures from Google. First, you go to the section that you want to add pictures to, and then you click the plus sign. Then you're going to um, go under Media and click Import. Now I'm in a Google image search. I might have saved a picture in my Google Drive. I could click on Google Drive if I wanted to include a picture, but I don't have one from there for right now. I'm going to show you how to search for a picture. So this section is all about landscape. It tells me about the different rivers and mountains. I think maybe I'll choose to show a picture of the, the Red River. That's one of the famous rivers in Vietnam. So I'll import and I'll search Red River. Maybe I'll even add Vietnam. And then I'll see what pictures I can find. Hmm, where's a picture that really looks like the Red River? Well, I see here there are some people floating on the Red River, and this one even has mountains in the background. Ooh, if I hover over the picture, I can see what it's called. It says, On the Red River, Outside Hanoi, Vietnam. I'll select that picture. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to upload, so you can just wait patiently. Now, maybe I'll add a caption to tell what's happening in this picture. Remember that a caption is a full sentence. So in that picture, people were floating down the river. People are floating down the red river. It's a, a name of a river, so I'm gonna make it capital. And then I can put my caption anywhere I want. I'll put it underneath the picture. Hmm, let's add a picture for this page all about food. In this page, I see that pho is one of the things we talk about. That's one of the most famous dishes in Vietnam. 
Let me see if I can add a picture of pho. I'll search for the picture in Google Images. Ooh, these all look really delicious. Hmm, let me choose this one. Now that I have my picture, I could add some labels to this one. The labels could tell what all the different parts are in the dish. Well, I know one part of the dish is beef broth, so I'll add a text box that just says beef broth. I don't need to capitalize these words because they're not in a sentence. And I can put them right here. You might want to put it outside of the, um, of the picture and then add a line, but we can do that afterward. Now I'm going to add another text box for the rice noodles. Maybe I'll put that word over here. And then another text box for the beef. And last, I know that usually there are some vegetables or herbs, so let me add that. Herbs. And I'll put that over here. Now if I wanted to add lines to show where all these things were, I can use the pen. I'm going to select the marker tool and then I can put the, uh, the paintbrush away. And now I can add a line from beef broth to the broth. I can draw a line from the word herbs to the herbs, from the word rice noodles to the rice noodles, and last from the word beef to the beef. When I click done, you can see all my lines are there so we can see all the different parts of the dish. Now that I've added a picture with a caption and a picture with labels, I can go through all my other sections and add more. What pictures do you think you might add in your nonfiction text?